Hey, this is JR, the Texpat OTG. We've got some news here at the house. We've got a new batch of kittens. Our cat Q is a young cat and this is her first batch. So she had four little kittens and they all came out healthy. They look good. And uh, we're real happy to have the little kittens around after the disaster of losing so many cats to FIP. It's nice to see a bunch of healthy little kittens coming into the world. And she kind of doesn't know what to do with them. So we're staying in close to help her out. She's moved them several times. Uh, just doesn't know what to do. We finally fixed her a little nest that she seems happy with. And so hopefully she won't be uh, picking the little kittens up and carrying them around the house. I always hate waking up with kittens in the bed. Probably we'll be uh, doing some video over in Barreto. Barreto Town used to be the hangout for all the Westerners that wanted to go to the girly bars. There were a lot of girly bars there when I got here about uh, 13, 12 or 13 years ago. They were all over the place. Now, yeah, it's kind of slowed down. There's a lot of big hotels, a lot of local tourists, a lot of international tourists. A lot of the old crowd that came here to hunt bar girls they're probably mostly gone or dead by now. It's been a long time. Most of the guys back then were in their 60s. They were retired. They were usually retired military. And they're just not around anymore. I guess I'm lucky I am still around. We've got guests coming in from Vietnam this month. Uh, one of Rhea's friends is coming with her boyfriend. So that should be a lot of fun. We should be able to get a lot of video from that. And we'll find out how she likes Philippines compared to Vietnam. I think she'll like Vietnam best because she's Vietnamese. There are some neighborhood things going on too. I think there's a uh, festival going on in Subic pretty soon. Uh, we'll get over and shoot some video there. The coffee shop has moved temporarily. So the old guys are going to go do some talking. And we'll try to do it at the new coffee shop. Actually, they didn't move. They just relocated for a month for the festival. So anyway, we will locate the coffee shop and try it for a shoot. If not, we'll try somewhere else. The old guys have got a lot of things to talk about, and some of it should be interesting to you. Everything else is going pretty good here. The power is staying on. The Internet's up. Uh, we really haven't had any problems. Things are just uh, really nice. The weather's nice. have been out walking every day. And, and quite honestly, it's really enjoyable here. One of my neighbors here is getting his eye surgery uh, Lasix this week. That's going to be a nice thing. I didn't see him on my walk yesterday, so maybe he's already gone into a long depo to get his eyes done. Overall, things are pretty good around here. I have a lot of stuff that I've already shot, but haven't edited it yet. I've been busy with kitties and have been busy uh, redoing my editing area. The editing area has gotten full and I haven't organized it in months. So yesterday, today, and probably tomorrow, I'm going to be <laughs> trying to get that room straight where I can work in there. I don't have any floor space left. I've got a room full of tripods and, and light stands. I've got to get it all moved around and, and back in working condition. I did get a nice background stand and and hopefully we'll be able to use some new backgrounds when I do my talking head video. I've got a black background and a green screen. So that should help me have some interesting backgrounds for my videos. I've also got a cat banging on the door. I've got to go do something about that. All in all, everything's going pretty good here, but I am kind of behind on my editing. So I'll be trying to get caught up on that and get some videos published. Also, if you guys are watching my videos and you haven't subscribed, I wish you'd push the little subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything and it really helps me out. YouTube has all these algorithms and things that determines how your videos get presented to people uh, when they log into uh, YouTube. Those people uh, make views for me and those views help produce a little income to keep my channel going. So if it's possible, just hit the little subscribe button. It doesn't cost you a thing, and it does help me out. 
This is JR, the TechSpat OTG, with this little update, and we'll have some new videos out for you soon. Thanks for watching.